Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I mentioned I might do if you guys were interested and a couple of you did show interest. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what I am taking with me on my Dominican trip. It is going to be my travel makeup bag. By the time you are seeing this, I will already be in the Dominican um, laying on a beach somewhere, hopefully. So I filmed this so that you guys would have something to watch while I was down there and so that you guys can know what makeup staples I decided ultimately to bring down there. I literally had the hardest time doing this. Like quite genuinely, it took probably a half an hour for me to actually like go individually through every drawer and pull out, okay, what kind of a primer do I want down there? Do I really need that much highlighter? Do I, you know, what kind of lipstick colors would I want to have? All of these different things. I don't even know how much makeup I'm really going to be wearing down there. Um, you know, in the daytime, I will probably have none on. This is really only going to be for like when we're going out for dinner or if we're going out to the disco or things like that. So I wanted to make sure I had enough options to cover all my bases without taking so much that I'm like weighing down my suitcase like crazy. So ultimately, this is what I pared down to. So I will now share it with you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to take that I knew I was going to take is this little travel size of my MAC Prep and Prime. This is the Coconut Fix Plus. Um, just makes perfect sense. I'm going to need to have a setting spray while I'm down there. This one's already travel size. It made the perfect sense that this would be the one to come. As I'm telling you guys this, I'm just going to start putting stuff in my bags. Um, you know what? I was originally going to take the bag that Mickey got me, the hockey bag, the one she made me. But ultimately, I think I am going to take my MAC bag. It is just a little sturdier and it is water resistant as well. So if anything, heaven forbid, happens on the plane, anything breaks, this bag is wiped down friendly. I don't want to ruin that bag because I do love it so much. I travel more with that bag around Canada. Like when I'm going home for the weekend, I take it. When Tom and I are going up to a trailer, that's the bag I take. So I think for this, I'm just going to take this just because it's a little bit more resilient than that one might be. So as I'm talking, I'm going to literally be putting stuff into the bag. We'll see how much will fit in there. Another thing I knew I had to take my Laura Mercier setting powder. This was a no brainer. I'm honestly all, almost out of it. I'm going to have to get a new one soon, which is cool. If I run out when I'm down there, this is just something I can ditch and then I will have less space. Um, for a moisturizer, I had a little bit of a difficult time deciding, but I knew I wanted to bring this. So I decided just to stick with this and hope it would be enough. This is my coconut water cream. I absolutely adore this stuff. I use it not only on my face, but honestly on my whole body. It works that well and it was a great alternative when I was getting sunburnt and when Tom was getting sunburnt we didn't have any aloe in the house we used that and it worked out great as well um more like tools that I'm taking I'm gonna take my Sephora color switch uh brush clean it well yeah I'll take it I'll clean it before I take it but I'm gonna take this I am ultimately not gonna show you the brushes I'm taking because they're just gonna be typical brushes like a foundation brush, a highlighting brush, a couple of eyeshadow brushes, and that's pretty much going to be it. Just the basics that I need. Um, but I feel felt like you guys would want to see the makeup. As I said, I'm going to take this, um, as somebody told me, is pronounced boom boom cream. I'm going to be taking this with me because it smells fantastic. And it's just such a little size too that again, if it's something that I use up while I'm down there, I can ditch it and that will lighten my load coming home. Next thing we're going to quickly go over is the kinds of foundation and bronzers and stuff that I'm going to bring. So for foundation, I decided to bring my MAC Face and Body Studio. I had a really hard time deciding which foundation I wanted to bring, but I am expecting to get a tan while I'm down there. And so this one is a darker foundation, so it will match a little bit better. Also, it's not glass, it's plastic. So that was another key point. It's already half empty, so it's kind of light and there's no glitter in this, which is nice. And I am gonna bring my Marc Jacobs Dew Drops with me as well. Now these are almost empty. So if this empties while I'm down there, another thing that I can just ditch down there, but that's gonna be coming as well. For a bronzer, I had a really hard time choosing one. So I chose two. I decided to go with my NARS Laguna bronzer, which is a little bit darker. And then also my Physicians Formula Butter bronzer because it smells like the tropics and it makes me think of vacation. And since I'm going to be getting a tan as I go down there, I thought it would be nice to have a variant. So like the more tanned I get, the less bronzer I'm going to need versus when I first get there, I'm going to want to have a little bit more. Um, eyeshadow was another really difficult thing for me. I really wanted to make sure I brought a palette that had enough color variations, enough choices that I wouldn't feel like I was missing anything down there. And my honest gut instinct was to take my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, but ultimately it's just such a huge palette. And because it is just cardboard, I didn't know how well it would travel without getting ruined if I put something heavy on it. So I 
came off of that and I went with uh, two other smaller palettes. So the first one I chose is this MAC 9 times palette. This is the Burgundy times 9 palette. It's just really tiny. It's got some really fun shimmers, some nice colors in there. I thought I could do a couple looks with that. And the other palette that I am going to take is my Urban Decay Naked palette just because this has some of the more browny tones that I normally like to play with. And it's still compact enough that it actually does fit into my makeup bag. For blush, the easiest thing for me was just to take this Pacifica Blush Duo. Um, I got it in like a top box or something like that. I didn't want to take a ton of blushes, so the fact that this is a two-in-one just seemed perfect. You get a more like nude kind of color and then a darker color depending on what I want to go to. This also has a really good mirror on the back. So if I find myself like short of a mirror, at least I've got that one if nothing else. Just tucking some things. For an eyeshadow primer, I'm just going to take my MAC Painterly Primer. That way I didn't even really have to think about that one. It was an easy decision. I'm just going to tuck some of this stuff in. I'm going to leave that out because I need that a couple more days before I go. For concealer, I'm going to, I just opened up a new um, Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is like my favorite concealer as of late. It is the one that I work with the easiest. And just for a no fuss kind of thing, I just thought this would be the easiest one to take with me. That way I didn't even have to think about it. Um, I'm also going to take my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. Again, a no brainer. It just seemed like the easiest thing to do. For foundation, or for not for foundation, I showed you that. For primer, I thought I would just take my Benefit Professional and also my Smashbox because they are little, they are travel size. They're not going to add a ton of weight. They're not going to take up a, a ton of space. And again, if I go through them, they can get chucked down there. Of course, I'm going to take my brow pencil with me. That is just a staple. Um, sorry, I didn't even show you what kind it was in case you were wondering. This is my brow sculpt pencil by uh, MAC. It is the fling one. And then for mascara, I had a really hard time. I actually wanted to take the one I've been using recently, but I don't know what I did with it. I literally filmed a video with it today and then put it down. And I haven't seen it since. So I'm just going to go back to basics, back to my normal routine, which is my Benefit Roller Lash and also my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara as a duo. That way I've got a little bit of everything, whether I want to get a bit more bold or a bit more natural. I've got both. Next thing we're going to talk about is highlighters. I, of course, am going to be taking my Too Faced Candy Glow highlighter. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. Um, it is just this beautiful, beautiful pink kind of color. I still have actually a fair bit, which I'm super stoked on because I thought I was running out, but I'm not. And it smells exactly like candy. This is fantastic. And then I also am going to be taking my MAC Soft and Gentle just because it is such a classic. And just for a little change up, I'm going to be taking my Becca uh, Opal Flashes Jade Light Chaser Highlighter as well. The hardest thing I had a time with was picking out lipsticks because that's the hardest thing I have a time with when I'm here anyways. And I wanted to have a ton of different options um, because I don't know what we're going to be doing. I don't know if I'm going to want a bolder lip or if I'm going to want a neutral lip. So I just grabbed a few and by a few, I mean seven that I'm going to take that I think will be enough to make me pretty happy and will still all fit in the makeup bag. So the first one that I grabbed is this Wet n Wild Mega Liquid Catsuit um, liquid lipstick. This is in the one nudist peach. I just thought it would be a really nice peachy kind of nude color that could come with me. And the next liquid lipstick I'm taking is my Shan XO um, one. This is in Ineffable. It is just a stunning, stunning bright pink. So I thought if I really wanted a hot pink lip and I absolutely adore this one, uh, I thought I would take that with me. For regular lipsticks, uh, it is no surprise I'm taking all MAC lipsticks. I have the most variety of colors in these, so this just seemed like a no-brainer. Um, so I wanted to have a variety of like light pink, dark pink, or bright pink, um, like a nude, and then a couple of like orangey sort of tones. So this is kind of what I ended up with. So I'm going to be taking Shanghai Spice. It's kind of like a peachy kind of um, burnt kind of color. Also going to be taking with me Girl About Town. So it's like a, it, it, it is a darker pink than the Shan XO one. Uh, I was actually just thinking about that. Am I taking too many bright pinks? This one here is in Costa Chic. It's like a bright coral orange, but because it's a frost, it's not super abrasive. So I can build it up or build it down. I'm going to be taking this one. This is a Without Your Love. It came out in the Ellie Golding collection. I wanted a nice light sheer pink, and this one just fit the bill perfectly. And for a nude, and I couldn't believe this because I, originally I thought I was taking Velvet Teddy, and then I switched to taking Viva Glam 1 or something like that, and I ended up settling on Natural Cork. 
it's kind of a more pinky nude, but still really, really pretty. And then I just grabbed a handful of lip liners to go with it. So I have a MAC lip liner in Lasting Sensation. It's like an orangey. I've got Talking Points. Um, another MAC one I have is in Posy Perfect. And then I'm taking three Shan XO ones. They are in Shannon, Sally, and Marie. So that should be enough to cover me for all of those lipstick colors. So that is pretty much all I'm taking, uh, other than brushes, of course. Uh, I'm going to stick to my guns, leave that all together, not use that makeup for the next couple days so it's already packed and ready to go. And then all of my brushes and stuff is going to end up going in here. Um, so yeah, you guys asked to see it and that was it. So I hope you guys are having a great August while I am down in the Dominican. And I will try and film more videos for you guys as soon as I get back so that hopefully you guys aren't left with too big of a time frame where I haven't put anything up. So as per usual, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.